And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a wave text effect. I've already done that effect in Photoshop but someone asked me how to do it in Inkscape. Let us first create some text. You can use any font that you want but make sure it's a bold one. So it should be a thick. As I said I'm holding Ctrl then I press Ctrl D to copy it and I put the copy to the top. I'll work with this one. And now we use the tweak tool. You can resize it right here with the width. And then just drag from left to right to get these waves. Important is that you've got this function active, so push parts in any direction. Sometimes you have to reselect it and then use the tweak tool to apply yet another effect. It's a good idea to test out different force values. You can go lower and then drag it over the same area once more. When you have it too high and you drag left to right and afterwards right to left, you can see that it transforms the entire text element, so you don't want to go too high with the force. It's much better to have a low force and then go over the same area multiple times, so like 20 in this case. And for me a width of 3 is fine in this case. And the text isn't fully transformed with that force. So that's the first step of this effect. Now create a rectangle and then use a size for example for your videos. So 90, 20 times 1080. But you can use obviously any size that you want. Make sure that you've got pixels active in the drop down. Let me give that text a different color and I'll put it on top of the rectangle and I'll size it down holding control. Let me make it a bit bigger once again our control. And now I use the one that I've got on top, so this one the copy. I give it a different color as well, put it to the top. And I want to have it bigger as the rectangle. Something like this should be fine. Let me copy the rectangle, press Ctrl D. Then I select everything else, object, line and distribute, and I put it to the center. I want to have the big text in between the rectangle and the small text. Then I shift click on the small one and I press Ctrl G to group it. So this is our text element. And I put that to the bottom. Then I select the rectangle and the text. Then right click and set clip. The other rectangle I used it as a background. Just select it all, align it once more. And then put the rectangle to the bottom. And you can play around with the color to have a good color combination that you like. And this is basically how you can recreate this wave text effect in Inkscape. When you want to export it, it's a good idea to press Ctrl A to have it all selected, then press Ctrl G to group it once more, and then you can export it. I hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.